Come on over for Louisiana fun. It's the Beauregard Watermelon Festival, June 26th through 28th in DeRitter. Watermelon as far as the eye can see. Carving, eating, and even seed spitting contests. And the largest melon will go home with a prize too. And bring the kids for all the rides and games. The Beauregard Watermelon Festival, June 26th through 28th in DeRitter. Louisiana fun, sugar town sweet. This has promoted the watermelon so much that you see loads and loads of watermelons leaving Beauregard Parish every day and they're sold in the local supermarkets now which they weren't before uh, and it's it's really promoted the watermelon industry. As everybody knows Sugartown watermelons are the sweetest and they're grown just east of here a few miles. They're the sweetest on the vine because of the ground they grow in around a little community called Sugartown. It's very conducive for growing watermelons. A lot of the farmers out here still grow the, the Jubilee watermelon and the Charleston Gray. Uh, a lot of our farmers like the Royal Sweet and that seems to be one of our local favorites and uh, you'll find a lot of those out here which um, the, the soil is so conducive to growing these that they, they grow large and healthy. You can find yellow watermelons, you can find orange watermelons. There we have just a large variety of different uh, melons out here. Um, we look forward to the uh, largest watermelon contest because that brings out all of our big producers out and uh, some of these are true farmers that have been around for many years and so they they know how to grow them right. The biggest thing about our festival is it's 100 percent family orientated. Okay, um, We have the hours are conducive to people coming uh, late in the evening to late at night and we'll get the families that come in early. We try to have it in the heat of the summer is the only time we can have it, but we try to have it late in the day. Um, there is no drinking, um, all family friendly entertainment, food, booths, a lot of free stuff for the kids. We have a large uh, variety of amusement rides for the kids to actually get out and have a little fun with. We've got different activities throughout the weekend that uh, I'm sure will spur their interest. Uh, we have a watermelon carving contest that, that anyone and everyone can participate in. Those are one of my favorite activities that we, we have. We've got a ch free children's game tent. The kids can play games all day long underneath that. A large variety, eat everything from seed, eating, seed spitting to watermelon eating competitions for the kids go on. Um, they have a watermelon bubble blowing contest and uh, just a large variety of different things for them to participate in. If you're interested in joining with us for the watermelon carving contest, you simply bring out your pre-carved watermelon and it's free to enter. People get really involved and just are amazed how someone can make a watermelon look like something or they're like oh i would have never thought to do that and if you ever look at pictures of watermelons that are carved they can get really detailed but i mean it's it's just all in the imagination at the watermelon festival we are known to have some awesome food vendors at our festival we're going to have watermelon pie which is a specialty to our festival because we are the Borgard watermelon festival also we have some of the local favorites um, we have shrimp and rice ball, we have apple dumplings, walking tacos, fried macaroni and cheese, green tomato, hamburgers, um, of course your regular hamburgers, hot dogs, pork kebabs, nachos, plenty of ice cream, Italian ice, frozen yogurt, uh, lemonade, and even watermelon flavored lemonade. To get into festival during the week is very inexpensive. It's a little bit more expensive on Saturday because we have several bands, uh, but we've grown from having one band on Saturday night for music to three on Saturday evening through the night and two on Friday night and last night we had some music here on Thursday night for the first time since the festival started. What would you tell someone considering coming? Come on the, the evenings. Um, you'll have a lot, a lot more to do on the afternoons. Um, the midway usually starts up on Saturdays at 10 o'clock in the morning but in the afternoons when things kind of cool down, we stay up until midnight. Uh, you've got all of these things going on all at the same time. You've got your choice of two different bands playing all the time. In the evenings, you've got your choice of the midway. Food is unreal here. I mean, local food, most of the vendors that come here with food and different things are all local people within oh, maybe two or three parish area. If you're looking for a good weekend and you, you'd like to enjoy some family time, come out 
and I'm sure you'll find something to do. We've got lots of shopping out there. Uh, if you're afraid of a little heat, we've got plenty of places for you to cool down at at the same time. So come out and join us. You have plenty of watermelon out there to eat and plenty of watermelon to try and games to play with watermelons. So yeah, everybody when they come to the festival, they want a slice of watermelon. If people want more information, they can contact us uh, by calling 1-800-738-5534 or they can uh, log on to www.boardroadwatermelonfestival.com. Come on over for Louisiana fun. It's the Beauregard Watermelon Festival, June 26th through 28th in DeRitter. Watermelon as far as the eye can see. Carving, eating, and even seed spitting contests. And the largest melon will go home with a prize too. And bring the kids for all the rides and games. The Beauregard Watermelon Festival, June 26th through 28th in DeRitter. Louisiana fun, Sugartown sweet.